Hello and welcome to the announcement show for the Small Stuff Challenge in the 2023 Pangolin Photo Challenge. I am fully aware that it is now 2024, but with 10,000 entries coming in last year, it's taken us a little bit of time to get through them all. And in the coming weeks, we are going to be revealing the winners of each of the challenges, as well as the best of 2023 image and doing a live lucky draw to see which one of you has won the Safari just for entering an image. My name is Toby German and today I have the honor of announcing the winners and also some highly commended images in this particular round. So before I announce the highly commended and winning image of this round, let's remind ourselves of what that individual is going to win. They will get a four night stay at the Pangolin Chobi Hotel in Northern Botswana. This fabulous hotel will take great care of you and during your stay, you'll go out into the Chobi National Park on our game viewers and photo boats, along with the Pangolin photo host that you know so well from this channel. If you've decided that you wanted to come to Botswana for a little bit longer, then we will happily exchange this prize package for a voucher for 2,500 US dollars that you can put towards any safari on our website. That's quite a prize. The first of the highly commended images is this beautiful image from Brian Kelly called A Snail's World Unveiled. Now, the immediate thing that catches my eye here is the spectacular iridescence of the shell. I don't think I've ever seen a snail looking quite as magnificent as this. From the description, uh, Brian took a photograph of this snail at a bird bath, uh, but it has this amazing sort of ethereal, otherworldly uh, nature to it. I can't quite describe it. It looks like it's almost transporting itself up the side of a rainbow. Anyway, Brian, beautiful, beautiful image, and thank you for entering. Um, the next image we have is a emerald glass frog, which I believe was taken in Costa Rica. Um, beautifully isolated against a black background, which sort of mirrors what's going on in the frog's eyes. Um, but you, I'm surprised you even saw this frog, quite honestly, because it is so amazingly camouflaged. But a beautiful, beautiful image, and the pose of the frog is, um, is very enchanting. So congratulations, Matthias. Very lovely image. Next up, we have a photograph that I initially thought might have been a sort of a composite of two images put together, but reading the description, um, Marjon Minders, I hope I've pronounced that correctly, actually described this as possibly the most popular flower in the, in the garden, wherever it was taken, as there was already one butterfly on the flower, and this was a second butterfly arriving, whether or not it was going to try and dislodge. Uh, but it's lovely, it tells a beautiful story, and again, beautiful dark background isolating the subject, so a uh, very beautiful image. Thank you very much. Um, next up, we have an underwater image, if you hadn't guessed already, from Frank Bagan, um, called The Next Generation. Now, I have huge respect for underwater photographers because it is so, so difficult to do. Uh, but now, specifically, macro photography underwater takes it to a whole new level. And this, I believe, is an arrow shrimp and only about two centimeters long. So spotting it, managing to photograph it and get it in focus whilst you're moving and it's presumably moving as well. I think taken in the waters around Honduras is a real, uh, it's a real treat to see. And made even more so by the fact that it looks like this shrimp is either carrying eggs or is so translucent you can see the eggs through it. So a really beautiful image. Thank you very much for sharing. Um, next up, we have an image by somebody, I assume it's from maybe Greece or Cyprus, uh, Panayotis Della Georgios, I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Um, this is a very interesting vantage point of a dragonfly, which looks to be like it's peering out from amongst the clouds. So yeah, a beautiful, beautiful, striking image. And uh, thank you very much for sharing this. It is absolutely wonderful. So there we go. Those are the highly commended images. Now, before I announce the winner of this challenge, I want to let you know that the Pangolin Photo Challenge 2024 is now open. If you took part last year, then you are already eligible to take part. So please go ahead, log in and start putting your entries into the challenge. 
If you haven't taken part so far, then all you have to do is become a Pangolin Guardian. Now, to become a Pangolin Guardian is very simple. All you need to do is a 15-minute online course which will teach you all about pangolins. And as soon as you've finished, you will be eligible to enter the Pangolin Photo Challenge and all the challenges in the future. So please follow the link in the description down below, become a Pangolin Guardian, and then you will be able to enter this year's challenge. And so here we have it. This is the winning image in the small stuff round of the 2023 Pangolin Photo Challenge. It's a beautiful image taken by Diana Widman or Widman um, called Courting Green Toad. I think the judges particularly like this image because it's it's very ethereal. Uh, the light behind, based on the description, is actually from street light. So this is a nocturnal toad. So this is maybe taken by the side of the road um, in a puddle. You can see on the right hand side that looks like what looks like gravel. Um, it just goes to show that you don't have to go to uh, Africa to go and take amazing photographs like this. I really shouldn't be saying that. Um, but Diana, this is a really beautiful image. You can see he's courting. You can see the expanded uh, neck, which means he is in the process of calling out for a mate. Uh, but I think it's a really, really beautiful, well composed, well exposed. Um, everything about it is fantastic. So Diana, congratulations. I think this is a very special image and a worthy winner. And we look forward to welcoming you on Safari soon. So thank you very much for watching the show. If you'd like to enter the Pangolin Photo Challenge, you can click on the button over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on the far end. And if you'd like to watch a video featuring all of the finalists from this particular round, then I will disappear and you can click on the video here. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.